I'm Adam Wilmoth, Energy Editor at The Oklahoman. I'm joined with Paul Menes, uh, Energy Writer. And uh, the U.S. Geological Survey today released an earthquake hazard map. It's an update of their uh, hazard map, that they, that they, their 50-year hazard map. It's the first time they have looked at induced or uh, man-made earthquakes. And the report showed that Oklahoma and uh, five other states in the region are at high risk of man-made earthquakes. Uh, the report also showed that some parts of Oklahoma, uh, uh, mostly northwest Oklahoma, are at about the same risk for a uh, magnitude 6.0 earthquake as uh, some parts of California. Uh, Paul, uh, what, are you, what are you hearing from, from officials throughout the state on this? Yeah, the, the, uh, we've got officials weighing in from uh, Governor Mary Fallon to Secretary of Energy and Environment Michael Teague to Corporation Commissioner Dana Murphy. Um, they're all basically saying that uh, this is a great first step, um, you know, that the, uh, the risks for induced seismicity obviously are, are real here in Oklahoma and that, um, you know, particularly we've, we've taken some actions in the last couple months that the Corporation Commission has done on disposal well volumes on a more regional basis. Uh, which they are saying will probably help uh, with some of this planning and risk assessment as well. Um, they're also noting that uh, the governor noted too that uh, she's convened her cabinet uh, with uh, emergency management folks to kind of see what the uh, proper planning is to maybe deal with one of these earthquakes if it's more damaging than the uh, ones that have been previously. Probably not, not, not a real surprise that, that Oklahoma's on this list now, that Oklahoma has, has a risk of earthquakes. It's something we, we, we've certainly seen for a while. Right. Um, and, and uh, the, the report stated that the U.S. Geological Survey stated that uh, the that that just this is for, for information. This is uh, that they encouraged uh, state regulators and uh, emergency management uh, officials to to continue to continue to uh, take this information and to consider it for building plans and to consider it for uh, uh, bridges and, and any any projects that are planned. Um, but we heard from uh, Secretary Teague the other day that uh, that that this is something that he, he basically said that the state has the option of either taking those steps and preparing for uh, a, a long-term reality with earthquakes or uh, fix the earthquakes. That's and, right. And, and, and the, the, you know the, the report took a very narrow forecast view of one year, so they're basically saying we've got all this information that we've got from our scientists and all the people, but they're very careful not to make any policy per kind of pronouncements from the report itself, at least on the USGS side. They want to leave that to state lawmakers, uh, state regulators, uh, you know, and the governor has said that her government, her coordinating council on earthquakes been meeting regularly the last couple of years. And so they've got a lot of industry data that's coming out of that to look at this stuff here locally in Oklahoma, but um, definitely this, this uh, map that came out today has, has kind of got a big red spot in Oklahoma. Uh, not a surprise, as you said, but uh, definitely something for people to kind of take a look at and take pause and kind of uh, assess where their policies are going. Okay. Well, we will have more on uh, newsok.com and in tomorrow's Oklahoma.